During Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Sri Lanka on April 4th to 6th, India and Sri Lanka are set to sign a significant defense cooperation agreement for the first time. This pact comes after nearly four decades since India's peacekeeping forces withdrew from Sri Lanka. The visit follows discussions between Modi and Sri Lankan President Indira Kumar Dasanayake, where they will also finalize a currency swap, debt restructuring, and joint oil development projects with the UAE. Modi's trip underscores deepening cooperation, especially amid growing concerns over China's presence in the Indian Ocean. India and the U.S. have agreed to begin sector-specific talks to finalize a bilateral trade agreement, aiming to boost bilateral trade to 500 billion U.S. dollars by 2030. This decision follows four days of talks between senior officials and is in response to the U.S. threatening reciprocal tariffs on India by April 2. Expert-level virtual engagements will start soon, paving the way for in-person negotiations. The BTA seeks to cut tariff barriers, deepen supply chain integration, and increase market access. While the U.S. has pushed for tariff cuts in agriculture and industrial goods, India is focusing on labor-intensive sectors. U.S. President Donald Trump has emphasized the need for tariff resolutions, while India remains cautious about sensitive sectors like dairy. The Indian Army and Air Force are set to receive land attack BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles with an enhanced range of over 800 kilometers, marking a significant upgrade from the previous 300 kilometers range. The Defense Acquisition Council has approved the acquisition of around 250 missiles, which will be deployed in desert and high altitude regions. This acquisition mirrors a similar order made by the Indian Navy. While the BrahMos missile system is a successful joint venture with Russia, India has made strides in indigenizing key components, with future models being developed in Uttar Pradesh. The Indian government aims to achieve rupees 3 lakh crore in defense production by 2029, a move to solidify the country's position as a global defense manufacturing hub. With 65% of defense equipment now made domestically, India's defense exports have surged by 32.5% reaching rupees 21,083 crore in FI 2023 to 24. The private sector contributes 21% to defense production, while 92% of new contracts in 2024 to 25 were awarded to domestic industry. This growth, supported by over 430 licensed companies and 16,000 MSMEs, aligns with India's vision for self-reliance in defense manufacturing. As part of India's growing naval cooperation with the Indian Ocean region, 44 personnel from nine countries, including Kenya, Mauritius and Sri Lanka, have been undergoing advanced naval training in Kochi under the IOS Sagar Initiative. This training, which includes both classroom and at-sea sessions, aims to enhance operational readiness and maritime security partnerships. The mission involves INS Senena, renamed IOS Sagar, and features personnel from these nations working alongside the Indian Navy. The initiative aligns with India's broader strategy to bolster maritime security and regional cooperation, including the upcoming Aikiwami exercise in Tanzania. The Indian Army's Fleur de Lis Brigade successfully tested a first-person view drone or FPV, equipped with an impact-based, kamikaze anti-tank munition in Puthankot, Punjab. Developed in collaboration with the DRDO's Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory, the drone was part of a project launched in August 2024. As of March 2025, over 100 drones have been fabricated in-house at the Rising Star Drone Battle School. The drone features advanced safety mechanisms and real-time feedback for precise payload deployment, marking a significant advancement in tactical drone warfare and enhancing the Army's operational capabilities. Zen Technologies Limited announced it has received a rupees 152 crore order from the Ministry of Defense for its Integrated Air Defense Combat Simulator, or IADCS, for the L-70 gun. Developed through in-house R&D under the Make-2 category, the IADCS is a virtual simulation system designed to enhance air defense training. This milestone reflects India's push for self-reliance in defense technology. The simulator promises improved operator readiness and coordination, while reducing the need for live exercises. Zen anticipates growing interest from both domestic and international markets for legacy air defense platforms. 
India has reached a significant milestone in space technology with the development of two indigenous 32-bit microprocessors, Vikram 3201 and Kalpana 3201, for launch vehicle applications. Designed by the Vikram Sarbhi Space Center, VSSC, and fabricated at the Semiconductor Laboratory, SCL, in Chandigarh, the Vikram 3201 is India's first fully homegrown, space-qualified 32-bit microprocessor, marking a significant upgrade from the Vikram 1601 used since 2009. The Kulpana 3201, a 32-bit Spark V8 RISC microprocessor, is designed for avionics systems and supports open-source software tools. On March 5, 2025, SCL handed over the first production batches of these processors to ISRO's chairman Dr. V. Narayanan. This achievement, alongside other co-developed devices, strengthens India's position in global space electronics and further advances its self-reliance in critical space technologies. The Indian Air Force has outlined ambitious specifications for a new engine to power the AMCA. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, is tasked with developing an engine capable of achieving supercruise, sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. The IF's requirement demands the engine to sustain Mach 1.3 at an altitude of 12 kilometers with a minimum thrust of 72 kN. This capability is essential for enhancing operational range reducing fuel consumption, and improving stealth. The IF aims for an indigenous engine that meets these demands, likely in the 110 kN thrust class. While the AMCA's prototypes will use imported General Electric F414 engines, the goal is to develop a self-reliant power plant, aligning with India's Make in India initiative. Achieving supercruise would place the AMCA among advanced fifth-generation aircraft globally, offering a significant operational advantage. India's defense circles are debating its potential participation in the Global Combat Air Programme, GCAP, a sixth-generation fighter initiative led by the UK, Italy and Japan. The collaboration could provide India with advanced technology, especially a shared engine for its indigenous AMCA project. The Indian Air Force is concerned about falling behind China's growing air capabilities, exemplified by China's stealthy sixth-generation prototype and the US's NGAD programme. India's AMCA, set to debut by 2035, could benefit from engine synergies with GCAP, reducing development time and costs. The GCAP initiative, launched in 2022, aims for a 2035 deployment of a cutting-edge 6th gen fighter. While full participation could enhance India's air power, concerns over compromising self-reliance and potential delays in indigenous development persist, making the decision complex for India's long-term defense strategy. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.